All right. Um, we're migrating from V2 to V3, right? Uh, or some of you might, and some of you just might check it out. So you're thinking, OK, what do I need to get my stuff from V2 to V3? Because uh, initializing a, a clean V3 studio, that's cool and all. But you have all this cool data or all these uh, cool features in your current studio that you want to bring over. Um, and also, we have the full ecosystem of existing plugins. They're all running on V2 with parts and Sanity JSON files and what have you. And I will try to talk a little bit about what we're doing to mitigate and help with moving from uh, that configuration to what we're having uh, in V3. So we're introducing this new package, Sanity Plugin Kit. Uh, and what's, what is it? Well. It's a series of uh, command line interface commands that will help you do migration. So the first one, um, all of these can also be considered like a dev preview. Uh, and we're really looking to have some feedback on these. Uh, the idea is that you can use these in a V2 studio or in a V2 uh, plugin and get uh, a set of helpers uh, or a set of uh, outputs that will tell you what you need to do to get on your way. So, this command, plugin verify studio, basically checks if uh, the current directory you're in is a, a V2 studio. And if it is, it checks if sanity JSON, uh, which is a V2 concept, has been removed, if you have or, or don't have a sanity config in sanity CLI files. And we'll also be checking um, package JSON and code imports to see if uh, those are V3 compatible. Uh, so to be a little bit more concrete, I'll show you some examples uh, of what happens when you run this. So you can right now go into a V3. If you just ran uh, Sanity in it in a V2 uh, studio, and you run this command, npx Sanity plugin kit verify studio, you would get a bunch of uh, error messages uh, ending in this one. So it detects that this uh, stuff is not really ready yet. Uh, it links you to some helpful uh, guides. Uh, and you can also, if you want to, run uh, the command in single line fail fast mode, adding a dash dash single uh, to the end of the command. And then you just get one error at a time. So you can start working through the issues. This is a little bit like uh, what you could do with ESLint or uh, tools like that. Um, so here's an example output of an error. We find a sanity JSON. You don't really need that for v3. Please consult your migration guide uh, for what you should do with it. Um, here's an, another example. Oh, we found some Sanity packages in your package JSON file. All of these have been merged into Sanity. Uh, you can remove them and just use the Sanity package. Um, and I know this is not really compliant because the contrast header is bad. But what's it saying here in the end of the output? It says, jam this thing into your package JSON if this particular uh, check is not interesting to you. So the idea is that this tool can be used however you want. You can use all of the checks or none of them. This will be more uh, uh, relevant when we come to the plugin check, which is a little bit more thorough. Um, and then we have this uh, part, which this verify command relies on. Uh, but you can also install this uh, ESLint rule set uh, separately. Basically, what it will do, it will check for parts, plugins, all parts, config, sanity, uh, uh, column, uh, and all of these at sanity base, at sanity um, uh, core, and so on. If you have used those in your V2 studio, it will mark all of those like uh, ESLint would do with the no required import uh, rule set. Um, and it also tells you here in the verify command how you can install this separately. And then you have everything in your IDE, and you will just have inline errors and can work, work through it that way. Um, so that's the studio part. Um, but I really came here to talk about plugins, so let's try to do that. The verify plugin command very much do the same thing as the verify studio command, but it checks more things because uh, the studio is already configured. V3 Studio is already configured to build um, correctly for, for uh, ESM and CommonJS. Uh, unfortunately, most plugins for V2, they're built for V2, and they come in various uh, sizes and shapes. So uh, 
we wanted to make it easier for plugin developers to do the right thing. So basically, what we have here is uh, checks that we check that you have common JS and ESM module configurations. We have a watch command now that makes it easier to test your plugins in watch mode directly uh, live updated in the studio. Previously, that could bite you uh, because of the rules of hooks. Now we're using, I'll come back to that, but we have workarounds for that. And we also have uh, validations uh, for configuring your plugins with safeguards in case you install a V3 plugin in a V2 studio. Then we will actually show uh, an incompatibility dialog so people don't, don't confuse um, V3 with V2 plugins. Um, so what might this look like? Well, yeah, I won't go to, into the details, but this is basically a list of all of or all of or most of the checks it's actually doing. So you're running the command, and it ends up here. We detected some issues. Here are some guides. Here is how you can run one uh, check at a time. Um, and the first thing you will find out that we're recommending parcel for building. So the new studio is using Vite, but uh, we tried to find a way to make it as uh, easy as possible to build plugins that are, make an ESM and a common JS um, compatible modules. And it turned out after a little bit of uh, research, Parcel really does work more or less out of the box. And you can make all of your configurations in your package JSON, uh, which makes um, it a lot, lot easier to manage some of this thing. If you don't want to use uh, Parcel, you don't have to. Just opt out of this check. Uh, it won't show up again. So here's an example of how we ensure that you have configured correctly for um, node and browser bundling. So we're actually checking if you have a source, exports, main module, and files in your package JSON to ensure that every, every which way of these configurations works wherever you jam your, your plugins. Um, so that's there are a lot more checks here, but <laughs> it's already dragging on. So uh, let's go to the next command. And of course, Plugin kit has an init command. Uh, this is heavily inspired by uh, Sanipack by Aspen um, uh, that have been used by a lot of plugins uh, uh, in V2. And this is more or less a direct lineage to that. Plugin kit init into a directory. Um, you can run that now, and it will start initializing um, a new plugin that will end up in a V3 compatible uh, configuration. So you can take this sanity. Uh, this MPX Sanity plugin kit in it, my plugin, right now in your uh, uh, command line, uh, and it should start asking you questions about what you want your plugin to be named and so on. Here it is. It asks you author name and stuff, GitHub repositories and descriptions, which package manager you want to use, and then bam, it's installed. Uh, and um, you can start following the README uh, on Sam the plugin kit. I have to be honest, the package is public on NPM right now. The repository is not. So that will be uh, by tomorrow, we will be um, making a lot of private repositories public because as it was alluded to here, we have been building on top of V3 for a while now. And uh, trying to keep things a little bit under wraps, uh, it's all coming together in the end. Uh, so now we just have to turn the key. The final command uh, is the plugin kit um, uh, link watch. And I want to go too much into it, but it's a wrapper around Yolk, not yarn, uh, around Yolk that will make it uh, easier to test React uh, uh, packages in the studio. Basically, makes sure that rules of hook are, hooks are not broken because it installs an actual uh, dependency and not using the npm link or yarn link uh, stuff. All right, now to the more fun part. Which plugins are ready right now? Air the list. Color input, code input, Google Maps input, schedule publishing, source uh, unsplash, plugin markdown, uh, graph view, dashboard with document list, and the most important of all, the cat widget, which we all would like right now, right? Um, what will be ready one or two days from now? Uh, media plugin, 
content calendar plugin and document internationalization along with latex input and then following that we will be monitoring this um, uh, the community and see what you would like to see so now that was all very dry let's jump out of uh, this thing go to the studio and show you some of these plugins so here we have a v3 studio in dark mode right we have our plugin migration uh, in a perfect world all of the stuff i just showed you would be running in here time constraints and everything but yeah this is the plugin studio so we have a regular plugin studio what about the color color uh, stuff yeah let's change <clears throat> some colors here we have the plugin uh, that, that has colors in the studio and don't you know, this seems like, oh yeah, this is the presentation, right? It's an actual actual 3D space model. So now we have uh, all of our stuff here configured within the studio. This you couldn't do in V2 because three React Fiber doesn't work in Sanity V2. Now it's all ESM compliant, so it's working. We can run it. It's React 18. It's all a good thing, and it's all React, all good stuff all the way down. Um, so here we have the co colors. And as you can see, we could uh, perhaps change the uh, images uh, in the background here. We have the Unsplash plugin, uh, which has been moved over to V3. Now also with dark mode support, we could pick, uh, pick or choose our images from there. I haven't really tested this, so just uh, bear with me. <laughs> Yeah, it sort of worked, right? Um, um, I can go to the next slide. We have code. Um, we have moved over the code uh, plugin. Then we have to go to the code slide here, and we have uh, that all configured here. So we have code, of course. Uh, it would be nice if this was actually color-coded. This has nothing to do with sanity. It's just that I didn't implement the full Ace Editor into the 3D world just yet, but uh, maybe one day. We have the scheduled publishing stuff. Um, I don't know. We can show you the actual thing later. Uh, but let's add some more particles because it's possible. There we go. Let's add some bloom. Yeah, that didn't work out too great. Um, next slide. We have, of course, we have the Google Maps thing and. I know Knut would kill me for this, but you can use Markdown if you want to inside Sanity. You don't have to use port portable text. There is a Markdown editor. Uh, you just have to parse the Markdown yourself in your front end, right? So just to show you that we have some uh, dashboards going on, and the most important of them all, the cat plugin. Uh, we have the graph editor with my single document, so it's not very impressive, and of course, Going to the team tier and above, you have the schedule publishing. Um, and as you can imagine, I didn't schedule anything here. And with that, I will just jump straight back here and sum it all up and ask you to look to the road ahead. Tell us what you want to see from the plugins uh, and the ecosystems. Uh, tell us how we can improve the plugin kit. Use it. Tell us what, what works, what doesn't work. And please use this discussion link. Um, that Knut talked about for uh, discussing plugins specifically. I think that should more or less, I went way over budget, didn't I? <laughs> no, it was perfect. <laughs> right on. Um, that demo was really, that was really cool. The 3D slides, somebody was like, can I, does that mean I can drop PowerPoint? Yeah, yes. this is an idea I've had for so long. And I just, I mean, Porting plugins is one thing, but it's, it's more fun. I would I have to admit it. <laughs> yeah. So that list of available plugins that are available now. Yeah, <laughs> I can device. go back. Here it is. Let so all of these sure. commands should run now. So if you already created a V2 Studio, as I said, it's a little bit, this is uh, all, all on me. Um, the plugins are available on NPM. The repositories are not, uh, or at least the V3 branches are not. So to find the readme on how to install these, you will actually go to NPM, find mm -hmm. this particular package, go to versions page, and find the Studio V3 tag. Then click 
the actual version and it will get the real plugin. This was not the best part of the presentation, but that's just the reality. We will start publishing the repositories very, very soon. OK. And if anyone has any questions, they can find you, of course, in the Slack community, correct? That's correct. Right so on. at me there, and uh, we'll get in touch. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Snora, and for presenting all that and for the amazing 3D. It, it's 3D for V3. That's what was decided. That, <laughs> cool. Right on. Well, thank you so much, and we will see you around. Thank you. So